Hello everyone, Guten Tag. This is Steven Uresco of Restaurant Adventures with Steve Yuri. For today's restaurant adventure, I will be taking you to a German restaurant called The Ambry, located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. In existence since 1981, I had gone to The Ambry German and American restaurant at least twice during the 1990s. Since then, I had moved to faraway Boynton Beach, However, because I had the occasion to meet up with my friend and former supervisor, Kipps, we decided to convene at the Ambry for our lunch. So after a hiatus of over 20 years, it was good to be back. The ambience was dark and soothing, with the restaurant dining areas divided into several cozy semi-private rooms and a small intimate bar area. On display throughout the restaurant was an interesting treasure trove of old world antiques and keepsakes. One of the more memorable artifacts was a classic porcelain chamber pot that was pressed into service as a receptacle for the takeout menus. Kipps and I were seated in a small chamber with an ornamental wood burning oven. Hung on the wall was a display of old photographs and a pair of lederhosen. For my beverage, I ordered a tall glass of Tuckerweizen German beer. For this visit, we both started out with soup. Kip's got the French onion soup, which he enjoyed very much. I, on the other hand, ordered the liver dumpling soup. This consisted of a matzo ball sized dumpling of calf's liver, nestling in a warm bath of savory, flavorful broth. This dish tasted very European and reminded me of a Yuha from my father's country of Croatia. Our secondary appetizer was the mixed sausage platter for two. It was a wonderful beginning of bratwurst veal sausage, knockwurst pork sausage, and leberkasse liver cheese with a side of tangy warm sauerkraut. The sausages were nice and tender and full of flavor. Our third appetizer was the soft Bavarian style pretzel. Dipped into a German Leap Tower cheese spread, it brought the taste of the ordinary pretzel to a whole new level of flavor. For his main course, Kipps ordered the Bayerisch Smacker Platte, a salver consisting of bratwurst, knockwurst, and roast pork, sided with sauerkraut and home fried potatoes. Although I did not have the opportunity to try it, it looked absolutely delectable. For my main course, I ordered the Jägerschnitzel, a succulent and tender breaded fried cutlet of pork, topped with a rich sauce of bacon, mushrooms, tomatoes, garlic, and onions. It was sided with spetzel noodles topped with a brown gravy. This dish was stupendous. Naturally, this fine meal could not be ended without dessert. While Kipps dug into a yummy looking German black forest cake, I was feasting upon an excellent apple strudel. Topped with whipped cream, the apple filling had the perfect balance of tart yet sweet. While we both ordered espresso, I discovered on the aperitif menu something that I had never tried before. It was an aromatic German liqueur called Underberg. The amber hued beverage was served in an elegant and delicate long stemmed cordial glass. The taste was slightly bitter with an anise aftertaste. I loved this place. It was quaint and homey while the service was warm and friendly. Furthermore, the food server was very helpful in explaining the menu items to us. I truly believe that if this place wasn't so far from my house, I would go there a lot more frequently. Well, I really hope you enjoyed this week's restaurant adventure. Thank you for tuning in. This is Steven Uresco of Restaurant Adventures with Steve Yuri, signing off for now. Until next time, 
Auf Wiedersehen.